Corporal, let's chat. You wanna chat? Sure, why not? Not like we're at war here. Let's just have a goddamn tea party. Whatever you wanna chat about. Oh shit, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. I didn't see your stripes. Your uniform threw me off, sir. My mistake. <laughs> it's fine, Corporal. Stand down. Listen, Corporal, you're confused. You're scared, and I get that. Not a lot is making sense to you now. But you have to trust me. You're back in Ophir. And your wife, Maya, she's worried about you. Maya? How the hell do you know my wife's name? Did you do something to... Your wife's fine, Corporal. She even told me about that ribbon you sent her. She told you about the ribbon? I, I don't... I don't understand. There was a goddamn war raging out there. I heard it. We were under siege. If we're in Ophir, you're telling me it's under siege? It was. The fighting's done, though. You held the warehouse like men, so just relax and return to your barracks. Rest. Wait for your wife. She has some good news for you. Good news? Of what? The best kind, trust me. The kind that'll be a reason to stay safe. Stay alive. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Men. Listen up. Lower your arms. We're heading back to the barracks. On the double. Unfortunately, this is beyond my skill level.
had to wait in line for hours just to get it. If only our soldiers had fought a little better. <laughs> As if it were only war, you can bet that not a single dish is missing at the senior officials' table or at the Princess of Glory. Keep blabbering, and you'll end up in a re education camp. Tread lightly, my friend. You're right, as usual. But it ticks me off that people blame the army for every misfortune. Part of my family is bored, and believe me when I say that they're struggling just as much as us. Hi. Lieutenant, how can I help you? I solved your problem, Quartermaster. Is that so? And how'd it go? No lives lost. But if we don't find an antidote to the drug, I doubt those men will see a day outside a cell for the rest of their lives. Thanks, Lieutenant. We owe you one. A friend of mine working on the test actually sent us a sample, and we should be able to make an antidote with it. Eventually, I hope. Give me the sample. I know someone who could probably find the cure quickly. Thank you, Lieutenant. If he succeeds, you will help us out a lot. Here, take this. Hi. Lieutenant, how can I help you?
Here we are. A couple of idiots looking for a way out. So desperate they'll fall for anything. That really what you think's going on here? Why? You gonna resist? If that's the case, we'll just kill you then. Hey, no! Stop! Stop! Here's your serum. Take it back. I'll stop. Anything you want, just let me leave. Fine, get out of here, but you start your ship back up and next time I won't be so lenient. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, thank you. My dear, dear Zachariah, a pleasure as always to see you, and my gratitude for your help. Now, please, stop calling me Master. You're one of us now. What brings you here? I met a merchant fresh off the exchange who'd like to meet you. Strange. Some delivery I'm not expecting, or something else? He only said he had information to give. Didn't say what, but I thought maybe there was a chance he learned something about some relics during his travels. Relics are more of the great master's field of expertise than mine. I like to stick to molding our young recruits, but come, come. Let us see what this is all about. I don't know what's going on, but this is weird. Better follow Master Connor to the exchange to make sure nothing happens to him.
Is it <gasps> really you, Andrew? Can it really be? I hate to disappoint Master Connor, but I don't die easy. And I have a little too much pride to just let myself be tossed out with the trash. You got some explaining to do. We did not toss you out with the trash. We just did not know how to help you. Your talents were uncontrollable. So we sent you away, hoping you would forget. Move on. Hoping I'd forget? When? As ten years of my life wasted away at the hands of a merchant? I want my goddamn life back, asshole. I'm... I'm so sorry. I don't know how I could make it up to you. I... I don't know. But you can be damn sure I'll think of something. Get out. Andrew, I cannot tell you how remarkable to see you. Simply remarkable. Pardon me, Zachariah. You cannot know how unexpected this was. Thank you. I must now return to the source. Ooh, who'd have fucking thought it? A Technomancer spying on other Technomancers. Crazy shit. Mr. Manser, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Big on weaponry, I hope. What can I get you? Your beggar problem's fixed. It was a little more complicated than it looked. Really? How so? They weren't here by choice. The folks got ripped off by a guy who said he was a smuggler. Told them he'd get them to Shadow Lair. Instead, he cut them up and made them work for him. Terrible thing to hear. Oh, glad you put an end to it. Here, take this. You're saving those people and our businesses. Zachariah Rogue. They haven't sent you to die at war yet? A damn disappointment. Does the name Andrew mean anything to you? A merchant's son whose dreams of technomancy died with him. A case study of someone trying to be greater than he was born to be. A lesson you might want to learn yourself, lest you risk the same ends. A mirror image of you, basically. A loser.
Zachariah, a pleasure as always. What may I do for you? Hello, Sean. Always happy to see you, my friend. What news? There isn't anything new to report. Goodbye, Sean. Goodbye, Zack. Be careful. How are you, Zachariah? I'm fine. And you? Good. How may I be of service? Find your chief. Mara? You want Mara? What are you? Fuck. Fuck it. Ain't my fight. You'll find her there if you want to find her. Hope she gives you what you're looking for. Lieutenant, uh, sorry to bug you, but I gotta talk to you about something. Look, uh, Lieutenant, maybe it's just because I'm not used to life in the city, but... Cut to the point, soldier. I just... I, I think we're being tailed, sir. I think someone's been watching us, but I don't... I don't know why. <sighs> All right. Any ideas how to figure out who it is? Hell yeah. I ain't no hunter for nothing, sir. I'd say we could leave from, say, the barracks or something and head towards the exchange. But, you know, at casual, like it's just another day. We just treat it like we're out for a walk. Then, once we know we're being followed, we lead him to a trap down a dead end road. And pow! You've got him. Or her. Whoever it is. That's one way to go. All right. Why not? Let's try it. See what happens.
Hi, Scott. Hello, my boy. How are you? Nothing broken, I hope. I have a sample of a drug that was administered to the soldiers. We absolutely need an antidote. Can you do that? Of course. You know, you could have probably made it yourself. If you would listen to the science lessons I was trying to teach you... Oh well, you preferred to throw lightning bolts. I remember that time. Scott, here's the sample. Can I get an antidote? You think that I'm senile? You'll see. Give me some time. Take this. It wasn't that complicated. I made you one dose, and I wrote down the formula on it. They'll be on their own for making others. Thank you, Scott. You, Mara? Yeah. What's it to you, dick? Hmm, charming. I helped the young lady escape from a warehouse where she was being tortured. She can't even remember her own name. Wow, you're a hero. Thanks for the story. She was one of yours. You found Talia? If you found her, fuck. This would be the first damn time I'd ever owe any guy anything. You bring her here? Whether she remembers herself or us or not, if it's her, she's one of us. Family. So yeah, we'll take care of her. And the assholes who fuck with her too. Just glad to finally find her a home. There's a merchant in the exchange quarter. Name's Fiorello. He's been taking care of her. Send someone to get her. Tell him I sent you. And what's your name? To tell him? Zachariah Manser. A good name. One I won't forget. We don't have many friends with dicks around here, but I'd like to consider you one. Thanks for bringing our sister back home. Bye, Mara.
Hey there. Officer, hello. What can I do for the fine officer today? Check out my merchandise. I have everything you'd ever need for hunting. Hey there. Just came by to let you know Fiorello's back in the exchange, and he's got your merchandise. Now, that is some very good news. Thank you. I'll send my assistant right away. to browse. I'm looking for a little information. Maybe you could help me. If it's information regarding my merchandise, I'm a fountain of knowledge. If it's in regards to anything else, I'm afraid I have nothing to offer. I'm looking for a little information. If it's information... Bye. Later. almost impossible to go through the underworks without bumping into one of those monsters. Yeah, the guards aren't working overtime to get rid of them either. Almost got caught by a... Good day. Care for some merchandise, officer? I need information. Don't we all? Unfortunately, I'm just a simple merchant who spends her day here, selling her goods. You probably knows little of anything that would interest you. Have a good one. See you later. And you too. Hope to see you again soon. Hey, I know you don't mind helping out the police when you can, so I just want to know if you've seen anything lately. Groups gathering, people acting suspicious, we're in the slums, officer. This is Anton Rogue's world. More people than not around here are acting suspicious. Yeah, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking more about anyone who may be looking to hurt abundance. Folks not fans of the regime. Rumors are going around some rebels are planning an attack. Fucking assholes. Hell, they can't just leave well enough alone. Nah, I mean, I heard something about fellows talking angry, talking about meeting up, but other than that, nothing specific. All right. Thanks. Free to browse. I'm looking for a little info. If it's information regarding. Bye. Later.
Good day. Care for some merchandise, officer? I need information. Don't we all? Have a good one. See you later. And you too. Hope to see you again. For the poor. I need some sensitive info about a certain group of citizens. I don't know what you're talking about. All I want is a little syrup. Come on. I'm sure that you see everything that goes on here. I'm looking for people plotting an awful attack. You've heard people talking about sabotage from someone named Volgakov? No, not right off, but maybe, you know, a bit of syrup might help jog the memory. Help me remember, you know. Listen, pal, we're not haggling here. I'm telling you to tell me what you know before the bastards blow up half this city. What do I owe this city? What has it ever done but abandon me? Good thing I was born better than what it's become. Them rebels you looking for hang around this local bar. The curiosities. Now go on! Get about your life while I scrounge for eats. I don't really know my way around this town yet, but isn't the curiosities a popular bar in the slums? I've got to say, those terrorists have balls meeting up right in front of it. Blinded by self-assurance. How many tragic mistakes happened because of that? Even me, in my research, being so convinced that... Oh, I can't remember that experience in particular, but I think that it involved... Scott, we better be discreet. Even though those opponents are reckless, they'll run away if we make any noise while we get closer to them. I heard you put an end to the smugglers' trafficking, Mr. Manser. I am disappointed. Why is that? My concern? Oh no, I simply admired the man. 
Not for the income he scraped from his beggar army, but rather for the pressure he managed to put on the merchants without lifting a finger. With that said, anything having to do with crime is my concern. Maybe you will remember the next time before you stick your fingers in my pies. Now tell me, what do you want? I gotta go. Then go. are close. I need to get closer to hear what they're saying. Just gotta keep this straight and stay hidden. Where's the next action going down? You heard anything? Operation Cut's going off in a few hours. Volgakov's taking care of it. Taking a bomb down to the train station in one of those military bags. With all the troops moving around the area, nobody will even look twice. Fucking regime won't be able to ignore us after that. Freedom or death, right? If they're trying to hit the train station, Lieutenant, we gotta stop them. Do you know how many people they're gonna kill? And we'd be cut off from the other cities and the Bundance's enclaves. Holy crap, even the aqueducts would be shut down. 